Hello everyone and welcome back to another video covering the AQA GCSE Computer Science course. Uh, today we're moving on to topic number 11 in the spec which is all about secondary storage. Let's have a look at what that is. So it's basically non-volatile memory that is used to store large amounts of data permanently. So um, I've been using memory and storage quite interchangeably. There is a difference, um, namely computer science. I mean storage implies that it's there for a long time but um, I don't believe that at this level you need to really understand the difference um, because it, it, it's fairly subtle so I would stick when talking about secondary storage to talk about storage and I, I know I've gone back on that by calling it a memory but um, a memory is more to do with RAM and short term memory if that makes sense. Um, so you may, I, I doubt you'll see it as of this in the course because the course mentions it as secondary storage. Um, it's often often called auxiliary or external memory. Or storage instead. Um, so we need to know a few forms of this. So a form of it is flash memory, optical media and magnetic media, all of which are secondary forms of secondary storage. Let's have a look at what um, goes on what comes under this. So um, so flash memory would an example of a type of flash memory would be um, a memory card. So you see these in cameras and video uh, cameras um, and also a uh, USB thumb drive I apologize for my awful handwriting on this tablet it's quite difficult to do it because it's only quite it's only small um, also SSDs but we'll look at that in a sec and how they work um, optical media an example of this would be a C well, CDs DVDs anything that's sort of a disc and shiny and vaguely shiny is pretty much to do with optical media and magnetic media um, we're looking at stuff like hard disks um, inside of hard drives um, and also um, cassettes which are before my time so certainly before your time but they are a form of magnet magnetic media that were very common in um, the, the 19th century the latter bits so 1980s onwards obviously they died out when CDs became massive and now CDs are dying out more to do with the uh, cloud and cloud memory, but that's not to do with secondary storage. Um, so let's move on to um, looking at how the different forms work. So first, let's have a look at optical media. Uh, this is probably the easier, the easiest of the three. Um, so again, there's quite a lot of information on this page. So let's let's highlight the important bits. So on optical media discs, binary data is stored as variations of height on the surface of the surface of the discs. Um, so when light is shined from an optical drive, so when light is shined. Um, the light that hits a pit, which is a dent, reflects differently to a land, which is just the flat bit. Um, and obviously the, the um, optical drive detects the difference, and this allows um, the drive to read the data. So I believe, um, don't quote me on this, but I believe a dent represents zero because it doesn't actually get reflected back. Obviously, it will get um, the light will get reflected at a, a strange angle and it maybe won't hit the optical drive so that represents it at a zero um, but when it gets reflected back into the drive that re uh, represents a one um, so that's binary and we know that a CPU um, can can deduce what that the data is um, from that um, so now let's have a look at um, magnetic media um, oops come in a funny order there but oh well um, so I mean magnetic media the, the explanation for this and the SSD explanation um, part of it is to do with physics like the, the principle of them working is mainly to do with physics and it's quite difficult for me to um, differentiate between computer science and physics in this, in this case I've done my best because I'm trying to do it only in computer science terms not, not um, uh, in physics terms um, so I've done it as simple as possible basically um, because I'm sure that's all you need at this level so um, these storage devices use m moving very important to acknowledge that moving read and write heads that contain electromagnets again important that's where the magnetic media name comes from um, so on the surface of the storage medium there are magnetized dots and so the uh, moving uh, read and write head um, containing the electromagnets can force the dots or they're more like um, little magnets can force them to face in one of two directions um, and depending on the direction the um, uh, depending on the direction they are in um, they represent either one or off so all of this represents binary essentially because that's the um, 
basically the, the lowest level of uh, information of data that a computer can get. Obviously, this represents the whole data in the whole on the whole, I should say. Um, so, I mean, I, I've highlighted moving because. I mean, like I mentioned, an example of magnetic media is hard drives, and these are mechanical because the head is moving at a high speed um, because it reads, has to read so much, so much data, has to magnetize so many of these dots per second. Um, so now let's have a look at storage. Sorry, storage. Uh, there, solid state drives. So obviously they are abbreviated as SSDs. These, I mean, in ten years' time, I'm sure these will have replaced hard drives because. They um, they're not mechanical, so they're not noisy, and they are a lot more dependable. They they um, they don't break as often as as hard drives. So um, they're non mechanical, like I mentioned, and they um, basically they contain uh, transistors. I'm not going to talk about what a transistor is. Just know that it's a transistor, um, an electrical component, and they can be in a state of on or off. Um, obviously, we know that on represents one and off represents zero in binary, and this state is retained. Very important, um, even when there's no power. Meaning that, um, so I, I believe that they, for all of the transistors, start off as one, and depending on the data, they change to zero if necessary to to represent um, the the data. And then, when there's no power, when the computer's turned off, they don't change. So, the the transistors that represented one. Um, will stay as one and transi transistors represented zero will stay as zero which is very important that's how they retain the data and um, meaning they're non-volatile like magnetic and optical media um, so that's it for today's video thanks a lot for watching um, and uh, check out for the other videos and uh, I'll see you then bye